fossils are the remains of things that were once alive. Scattered across every continent, they teach us about the history of the Earth and provide evidence supporting the evolution of life. But finding a fossil isn't easy. As paleontologist Robert Backer explains, it requires a trained eye. The most important thing to look for when you're out digging dinosaurs is the stuff over there in the periphery of your vision. So when you're digging dinosaurs, you've got to have a sort of a 360 degree ecological vision. Look at everything. Be aware of everything. Paleontologists travel through deserts, frozen tundra, oceans, and underground caves to uncover the remains of ancient and extinct species. The job can be risky, yet finding a fossil is only the beginning. Once it's discovered, paleontologists must carefully extract it from the ground. This excavation process can take days. So here's the other nostril right here. I'm digging in the nose. They must be cautious not to damage any remains. Once removed from the ground, the fossil is wrapped in aluminum foil and plastered burlap to keep it safe during travel. In the lab, the wrap is removed and the fossil gets a thorough cleaning. The original fossil is too heavy and fragile to display, so scientists make a reproduction. They brush rubber on the outside of the fossil to form a mold. The hardened mold is removed and filled with resin to make a copy of the original fossil. At this stage, paleontologists also create models of the missing parts. As Dr. Paul Serino explains, they make the most out of what they have. We had enough to wish we had more. We had enough to say we could take this uh, and make a skeleton out of it. We hunted for that skull. We wanted the skull. We didn't have it. But we had enough of the animal, the limbs, uh, and enough of the backbone to judge its size correctly and to get a picture of what was a very agile animal. The reconstructed bones are now ready to piece together. They're placed onto a steel frame that provides support. The shape of the frame gives the completed skeleton the appearance of motion. Putting together a full skeleton is a tremendous challenge. With pieces missing and sometimes only fragments of a bone to work with, Mistakes are not uncommon. Well, my mother sometimes rattles my cage by saying, well, Bob, you, you scientists, you always make things up. You get a single bone, you build a whole animal, you got the wrong head, the wrong tail, tail on the wrong end, head on the wrong end. That does happen on occasion. But almost always it's another scientist who, another anatomist who catches the mistake and corrects it. In most cases, paleontologists eventually get it right. With a lot of skill and a little bit of luck, the results are extraordinary. The resurrection of a species that became extinct millions of years ago.